Um, this is a reading response for a Leo who just asked for love. And I get that, you know, it's not really a basic question. You're asking a lot of things here. And, um, what is love? How do you get love? Whatever. So, what I'm asking the cards is what do you specifically need to know? What are you doing that's not making you successful? What is going on that's kind of upsetting the balance of your love life or your lack thereof? You know, that's what I'm asking. Um, what is the best lesson that you need from this reading about love? Okay? That's what I'm going to ask here. And I am not going to repeat myself about Leo's, because I've been doing that for both of Eight readings thus far tonight, and if you would like to know what Leo's do, you can go to Leo's. Go and pick out a Leo reading and read the, listen to the first part. But as you know, you're fire. Very dynamic, very passionate, very movement, very all the way forward. Okay. Tend to scroll around a lot. The other thing, a lesson that I was just taught, sometimes Leos like to create drama where there is no need for drama, or where there isn't even any drama. Okay. They're showing me that you need to be the center of attention. That's what they're showing me. You like that. You need to be. This. You need to be um, an attention whore. You specifically, this person. Um, don't do that. Stop doing that. That's, yeah. Not everything is about you guys. And not everything is specifically about you. Okay. So, let's see what the cards say. What is the lesson that you need to learn? First card in the past. Wow. What of the coins, uh, what of the elements of air they have here in the past? You're very nurtured. You're very well taken care of. The universe takes care of you. The stag is a strong um, masculine energy in the um, earth energy. Okay. This is root of the powers of air. Or air. Of earth. Okay. There is a lot to be happy for. The repose of the true heart is being given unto you in the past. It was. Um, you you are very you are very you may not have the perfect everything, but in the past a lot was given to you. Okay, and I'm gonna look a little bit deeper here. Wow, nice. And we're talking about love, so it's no no surprise that the um, seven of cups or a cup sign comes up. We have Scorpio with the air, Venus of love planet of love, desire, passion, energy, um, and the earth. You are a person who visualizes a lot of things. This is illusionary success. Okay. Now when I say illusionary success, I don't mean an absolute illusion. You know, like a mirage or something. No, that's not what I see. That's not what I, I sense from it. Um, what I sense from it is the, the power and the ability to visualize what you want and go get it. That was in your past. That's a lot in your past. That's very strong. That's a very good quality to have. Now, the opposite of that is illusionary success that you are um, thinking too lofty, like lofty ambitions. You know, you, you, you are setting a goal that's so high that you can't attain it okay and that's where they're showing me you know a bell that they're ringing a bell they're like yeah you got it you know that means that's the lesson of the past that that is being presented to you okay you know seeing that you are setting up yourself for failure by having too high of ambitions expecting too much of yourself okay I mean, because you look at this, there's, there's 
seven cups and there's a tree and there's jewelry and a spider and keys and a shell and shit in every one of them, right? That's, that's money in a lot. You know, everyone wants all these different things. Okay. Moving into the present here. The nine of um, wands here. The moon and Sagittarius are all in this energy of this card. And the nine of wands is great strength. It's coming into your present here. You are a very strong person. You have a dynamic energy, obviously being a Leo. And that Sagittarius energy is being played out there. You also have an energy of being, you know, dynamically forward. Are you being too forward with these people that you are, whether it be man or woman? Um, I don't know what you are, sexual orientation-wise. But are you being um, too forward with people? Are you being too much for them to handle? You know, are you being a person that is, you know, um, too forthright? Are you being too much of a dynamic force? And I feel that that's what's happening here in the present. Um, nine is also the end of cycles. Um, things about to end. Something about to end and something to begin. Okay. Um, the moon is your intuition. The moon is cycles again. Cycles of the life. Cycles of the person. Development of the spirit. Development of the soul. Okay. Um, you look at this card and he's got his helmet off. He's, he has his wands all nice and set up there and he's look he's feeling pretty good. He's like, Yep, I'm good. Okay. That's he's a very strong knight. He's a very strong individual, just like you are. Um but I also feel that there's a lot of ego involved here. I also feel there's a lot of ego in how you deal with other people. I also feel there's there's a lot of ego and holier than thou attitudes, especially when it's dealing with other people. And that is a bad trait to have. That's not something that people want to be around because they want to be someone with someone around on their level. They want to be around with someone who is who is at their level, also motivating them to be better. Because you lead by example, right? Before anybody can lead, you must learn to follow, and that's very important, especially for for a Leo, someone who's very dynamic, someone who's very energized, someone who's very you know, they're, they're instantaneously a leader. They're very good at being leadership. They're very good in leadership roles, but they they forget that sometimes it's just better to follow. Okay. I'm going to pull another card here. This is going into your future. This is, wow. Okay. So we have air now. Air is the creation of fire and water. You know, you pour water onto a fire, it douses and creates steam when you actually see the air for the first time. And the king is a dynamic force, you know, with a will to keep going. The, and this is air. This is the mind. This is the intellect. You know, even as I say these things to you in this reading, you know, you get a little, yeah, I sense that you're going to get a little um, pissy because I've, I'm claiming things that maybe aren't true or that you don't see in yourself, but maybe from another viewpoint other people see these things. And I don't very well know you. But I'm just going by what the energies are showing me and what these energies are and just how they are exemplified in each person by their sign. Okay. I could be totally off and if I am well then be happy to say so. And maybe there's something here in these cards that you're seeing that I'm not. Either way, the intellect is now coming in. But even as I say these things, as these cycles are ending, your mind the gears are starting to turn. Okay, the will to maybe make a change is coming in. Okay, in the further off into the future, the six of of swords. It's starting to now. We're going into the mind here. We're going into the intellect here. We're going into Aquarius, fixed air, Mercury, communication. Okay, there is a lot to be said about a strong mind. There's a lot to be enamorable. There's a lot that's enamored and even envied by someone who has a strong mind. Um, 
There's going to be people coming into your life. This is traveled by water, dealing with emotions. That six there. This is mediation though, um, of a side. Mediation and reconciliation of things around you. Maybe there's relationships around you that were messed up and now it's time to just forgive and forget. Well, maybe not forget, but, you know, at least forgive. Um, shining the light into the darkness. As, as shown by this light here. <gasps> Excuse me. Um, taking that energy, that communication, communicating what your mind is thinking, communicating what your heart is thinking, communicating what your emotions are saying. Because that can be very hard for anyone, but it's especially hard for a Leo, okay? It's especially hard to really get into that, okay? It just takes one step at a time. And shining light and love onto things, right? You can never really truly know love. You can understand what it is, but everyone has their own experience of what love is. And the people that you've been running into see love differently than you. Um, they see it differently. They they have their own view of what it is, and that's okay. Everyone should have their own view of it, but we all come down to the common consensus that love is giving and taking, and it's, you know, reciprocal. It's not one-sided. I'm going to pull one more here for an outcome. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. You're a young individual. You are um, roughly around the ages of 20, 21. You're in a time of great change right now. Okay, fine. Understandable. Um, 19 and 20, somewhere in there, 18, 19, 20, you know, that young age, that first real big change of the soul, you know, growing from adolescence into, you know, becoming an adult, or what it is to become an adult, to learn what it is as to be an adult, what an adult is, learning what, how to have good relationships, how to have bad relationships, and I'm not just saying emotional relationships and romantic ones. I'm talking about relationships with parents and friends and family and strangers even. You know, it, it always comes down to that. What you'll come into, what you'll come into being is, and this is upright, you will be, um, if, you, if you take this time, you will become a very passionate young individual. You become a very passionate, you know, feeling person. I sense a very strong empathic ability in you as well. And your gift must be honored. So, I would take that into consideration. Um, I, would, I would also take into the notice of that it's time to start integrating more water into the life, integrating more structured stability. You know, when you see that something's wrong, you know, change it for the better of yourself. Don't don't succumb to lower energies. Uh, don't stay stuck. Don't let your mind, that's what I need to say here, don't let your mind, because we have Aquarius, fixed air, fixed fixed air of the heart, um, fixed air of the mind. Don't be, don't be stuck in old habits. Don't be stuck in old cycles. Always work to be bettering yourself. And that's innately in a Leo. You can always better yourself. You know you can. So do it. You know, if, take the the past and use it to your advantage, but don't let history repeat itself, kind of thing. Um, dragon. There's dragons on here. That's luck. Um, elemental. A fire. Breathing fire. 
living in fire, understanding fire, understanding feeling, understanding passion. You will understand it very well here very soon. There's going to become a time that really gets you to understand it. And it's going to be with someone very close to you. Um, but they're not going to be a fire sign. They're going to be a water sign. Or an air sign, but they're not going to be an earth sign. If they are an earth sign, it'll probably be a Taurus. Because Taurus is... Taurus is the... Um, one of the most sensual and romantic signs of the Zodiac. Ruled by Venus. And, um... You may you will start to butt heads. You'll be like two two stags in the woods, you know, clashing horns or antlers together just to figure it out. But eventually you will. And it's gonna be a travel by fire, it's gonna be a very slow process. Or travel by uh, water. It's gonna be a very slow process. And that's okay. You're still young. You you need you need this time. You need these lessons because if not, you will you you will become you will be uneducated in 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 the behavior of, of humans. So that is the advice that I have for you, and I hope all goes well.